Yes, yes, uh, I believe I was just introduced. And, and your Margaret, I presume? Uh, yes, I believe I was just introduced as well. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to think that blind dates were for fools who were too cowardly to speak their feelings aloud. But this isn't so bad. Oh, I thought dates, blind dates were dates for blind people. Possibly be worse. Who is it? Teeves. Tea Thieves. I don't know anyone named T Thieves, do you? Uh, no, I'm afraid I don't. Oh dear. I suppose you'd better let them in. Right, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! My grandfather, he, he drinks a cup every five minutes, so I don't, I don't know. But we better bluff our way after this one, wouldn't you agree? Agreed! What are you talking about? <laughs> nothing! Oh, no, nothing at all! They're going to take us to the study of tea reserves, but we may have to get a little bit less 
hospitable for your hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> of Downton Abbey in one whole sitting. Ooh. Three days straight. Uh-huh. <laughs> I hated when Matthew died. Just oh. couldn't stand oh, yes. it. Oh. What? Matthew died? No. No. You bastard. You bloody bastard. No. Stop it. I have no time to do that. No. 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 Matthew died. Matthew. No. 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 I must say, this is by far the most interesting first date I've ever been on. You've been on dates before? Uh, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, look, you know, no girls ever liked me before. They're all like, you have the personality of a walnut, and you have no accomplishments, and your socks are bloody awful. Well, excuse me if I like my Downton Abbey socks, but who bloody arse? No, I think watching Downton Abbey for three days straight counts as an accomplishment. Though I suppose it does reinforce the stereotype of the idiotic rich person. You know, I, um, I, I didn't stay seated for the whole three days, you know. I, uh, I did have to get up to go to the bathroom every <laughs> once in a while. Well, I don't suppose anyone could be blamed for that. I see you two are a bit long mentally. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Here you are. Oh. I must say, this tea is exceptionally good. Yes, I suppose it is, isn't it? Does this tea fit your tea craving? By gum, I think it does. <laughs> yeah. Then your presence here is no longer needed. Good day. Wait. What? I said good day! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Arthur, you didn't orchestrate this entire incident to get me out of my shell and to share my feelings with another person due to the potentially dangerous situation of a robbery, <laughs> did you? <laughs> I'll be in the yard picking the hedges. Call if you need. I'm not. 
that lonely, you know? Here. <laughs> well, I do think I have to be heading back about now. But I did enjoy this, mind you. You did? Even when our lives were at stake? Ugh, I knew we'd be fine. You did? I'll be looking forward to our next rendezvous, Master Orwellian. Oh, farewell then, Margaret. Come on, Hanover, you.